when you're surrounded by an armory and hundreds of weapons like we are, it's important that you stay in a good state of mind and that you stay happy and that you don't think about killing yourself because the end of the world's coming. Well, I never even alluded to that thought at all. My biggest issue is just staying motivated when the world keeps not ending. Okay. All right. Well, we'll talk about that then. Chrome Falcon. My friends call me Zane. And this here's Whitehawk. My friends call me Barry. We are two men in a bunker. Barry's been going through a tough time, and it's something we've been talking about. Any other situation you have, you should probably speak to a licensed therapist. Well, do you want to share? I have dire financial issues. Um, I have spent a small fortune, a fortune to me, uh, on prepping and it's causing quite the rift in my marriage and my children are having trouble uh, well I, I can't feed them as well as I would like it's good that he spent the money he did because when the inevitable occurs I don't regret they're gonna it. survive so it's not that Barry's made any mistakes here oh, I, well, I want to be clear about that we're eating a lot of canned goods and stuff and my wife it really it all comes back I know that they're gonna be okay you shouldn't feel bad about any of the spending decisions you've made so far. I, I believe I will have my redemption, you will. Um, but something has to happen in order for that to happen. Right. If, uh, if things keep going the way they are and issues keep not arising and flood levels keep not rising right. and volcanoes right. keep not going off right. and viruses don't take out 50% of the population, right. if all these things aren't happening, I'm going to get a divorce. Yeah, so Barry's prepared for all these terrible things, and his wife keeps saying, when's it going to happen? Barry's trying to tell her, like, it is coming, and, but then he's getting depressed about the fact that, well, it hasn't happened yet. So you may be going through the same issues. You're like, hey, I've spent $50,000 or $150,000 in the past couple years on preparedness, and now I've got all these uh, stockpiles of dried foods that aren't all that appetizing, but will keep me and my family alive. But my wife wants to divorce me. My children will not eat MREs. Uh, I personally find them to be quite delicious. His children don't like the taste of the MREs, particularly. We are trying to help them adjust to that flavor. They're seeing, you know, ads for hamburgers and more appealing foods, and they're thinking, Daddy, why can't we eat that? Why do we have to eat uh, freeze dried ramen and spam? One of the big issues that we have is because of our food situation, uh, I do have to make a lot of trips here to the bunker to uh, kind of just borrow some food, and then I have to replace that food. It's kind of like when you take out a payday advance loan, you can just never catch up. He's trying to explain it to him, but it's difficult because they're being so heavily marketed to by major corporations that are hell-bent on your destruction, and they're okay with you not being prepared. They want you to spend your money on pointless items that you don't need. Do you need a brand new car or do you need a flamethrower? Do you need a vacation in Hawaii or do you need bulletproof armor for your family? And I think the choice is clear. It's obviously clear, but it's just trying to get them to try to convey that to them. And that's really the biggest issue here. I feel re I'm, I'm very much resented. I don't know what type of scenario you're in, though. We'd like to start uh, that conversation in the comments. Right now, the only support Barry has is me. If you want to leave a comment for Barry, I think that would be good for him. It would help a lot just encouragement that he's doing the right thing and I want to encourage you maybe if you're discouraged that you are doing the right thing don't take the criticism of others and so one of the bright sides of of the apocalypse is something you need to think about like what are they that'll give you some hope that'll give you something to look forward to what do I have to look forward to well, let me tell you because there's actually oh, so a much. number so a number much. of things to look it would be forward so to. much better than the way it is today you look at uh, medieval movies and Wild West movies they're fun they're exciting I yeah. mean, once again, your life's going to be exciting again. You're going to you, have meaning. You can be a hero. It's a lot of the people that mock you, that say you're crazy because you've dug a giant hole in your backyard and you've built a bunker and maybe you're living in a trailer at the same time, but here you have this massive fortified bunker that you can should, withstand bombing raids. You shouldn't be telling They're calling about you crazy that, while the Russian army is invading your town. They're all getting blown to bits yeah. by tank fire. And meanwhile, you're safe and blown sound. Up, blown them up. And I think there's no better feeling than that. 
it won't be. We encourage you to stay connected within the Prepper community. Stay connected with friends who will support your dreams and visions. Don't go sharing your plans with everybody. Or the, Hey, maybe, Jimmy. Maybe don't think about... Hey, Zay. This is one of the guys we're talking about. Jimmy. Very. You're, you're Jim, very close. Jimmy, we're you're just... Very uh, close yeah, right you can now. back up, Jimmy. Keep going. No, we're just good. we're shooting a video for uh, YouTube. I'm not in a great emotional state. You're very close to my face. Man, it's hotter than two lemmings having sex in a wool sock. It's called two there. men in a bunker. Two men in a bunker. It's all right. Good to see you, Jimmy. Yeah, how you been? How you been? Been good. All right. Yeah. So that's just one of our uh, prepper community members. It's a good guy. I and, didn't uh, want to iterate men. Thank you, Jimmy. Um, yeah, but w Barry, are you all right? I will be. Jimmy, you were really crowding him out on space there. That's not nice. You should apologize. I'm sorry, Zane. So, folks, I hope this video helps you <clears throat> in your struggles. Remember, don't listen to the mainstream financial gurus that tell you to save and invest in your 401k, you are saving and investing in the ultimate investment, the life of your family and your survival. Just remember that, Barry. I don't want to do this if he's here. Jimmy, can you just give us a minute? Or... Yeah, can you sure. get out, Jimmy? He didn't want to talk about this in front of people. It's, it's, it's just for us and the millions of viewers. It's not for you. Just give us a minute, Jimmy. It's a private moment, Jimmy. Actually, I got that machine go gun out there. Go listen to Creed in your car. Barry, Just that's go. not nice. Apologize. Sorry, Jimmy. Jimmy, I got that machine gun out there. If you want to take it out, we're about to go fire some rounds. I appreciate it. Might work on some moving targets. All right. We'll be out there in a few minutes, I guess. Go, um, Jimmy. You know what? Go Barry. prime it up. Go warm up your gun. Right uh, now. We'll be out in just a minute. All right, good. I got that thing I need to talk to you about. Oh, yeah. Zane. We'll talk about it. Y'all yeah, can talk about it. Yeah. So, folks, as you can see, we've built a good community here of preppers, and that's what we encourage you to do here. I didn't know he was coming. Well. Um, you didn't These kinds of friendships that you form with uh, other preppers are very important for your friendship. emotional health and safety He's and your well-being. He's a part of the community. And He's these not a people friend. can help you and support you. And that's what we built here. And that's what we want to encourage you to do as well. He's your friend. So I am Chrome Falcon signing out. And just remember, uh, this is Whitehawk Barry. Leave, Barry. leave Barry some encouraging comments. Please and remember, real preppers never, never die. die. Barry, are you going to be all right? Yeah, but you didn't tell me he was coming. You never told me he was coming. Jimmy's a good friend, Barry. He's your friend. He's your friend, too, He's Barry. my nemesis. No, he's not. And I think he's been talking to my wife when I'm not around. Barry.